if you're wondering how much it costs, it's not nearly as expensive as you would think. It's only $7 a month. All right, today we're back with an educational video here on Big C Vlogs. Now, I myself have ran a Plex server, just ironically this computer screen right here behind me, for many, many years. If you don't know what a Plex server is, a Plex server is essentially a computer that I've set up that runs a software that's able to read video and music and audio files and stream them onto my Xbox or onto my phone or Apple TV or Google TV, whatever streaming device you may have that has the Plex app. Now, you may be wondering how you get these files. Most people use torrents. Now, they're not safe. Tons of viruses. You can easily, easily get caught by your service provider. And yes, they can take away your internet service because they know you're downloading illegal movies. I actually got a letter from Xfinity back in 2012, 2013, when I downloaded a movie that literally said, you downloaded this movie at this time onto this computer. It was illegal. You broke the law. And if you keep doing it, we'll take action. I talked to my cousin who worked at Comcast, Xfinity, whatever. And uh, he basically said that after three strikes they would pull my internet and wouldn't allow me to get internet again. So I didn't want that to happen and I did some research and came across news groups. Now there's many different uh, terminologies. It's, it's I don't want to be too complex but uh, essentially you are kind of sharing a newspaper is, is how it was described to me. So it's not illegal to buy a newspaper and let you read it, right? So I'm gonna go through how you download NZB files and how the whole process works. I'm gonna show you what I use and show you how quick and easy it actually is. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's see how we download and use NZB files. So I have a few windows open here. Before you get started, you'll need this program. This is Saab NZB. It is essentially the news reader. So this is able to take that NZB file and download it for you and uh, give you what you're actually getting because the NZB file is actually this XML format. Again, don't want to get too complicated. Go to sabnzbd.org, download the software, put it on your Windows computer. That's step one. Once you have this software on your computer, this will be the one that will download the NZBs. Now, you'll need server access to be able to download those NZBs. The one that I would highly recommend is Fast Usenet. Now, I picked this one for a few reasons, mainly one being its cost. Of course, you have to pay to be able to access these servers. If you're wondering how much it costs, it's not nearly as expensive as you would think. It's only $7 a month. $7 a month gets you 50 SSL connections, which you'll want. The SSL connections means Charter, Comcast, AT&T, etc. cannot see what you're downloading. They just see you're getting an 8 gig file and it's unlimited. You can download all you want. For a dollar less, you can get a, a 35 gig limit. For $4 a month, you can get a 15 gig limit. Or for uh, $3 a month, you could get a 6 gig limit. But when you're looking at 3 to 7 bucks, I would say go ahead and pay the 7 bucks so you can download all you want. You will essentially take this information here and put it into your Saab NZB platform. There's full tutorials on how to do that. It's actually much easier than it sounds. By the way, I'm not worried about you seeing those port numbers and server names. Uh, they're all the same. You have to have a active username and password for FastUseNet to be able to actually, uh, you know, access the server so there's nothing you can get from that. Also, if you want to use Fast Usenet, I have a link down below where that you can sign up. No, I'm not affiliated with them. No, they did not pay me to make this video. It's just who I use and they happen to have a referral link. Once you pay for this, like I said, you'll take these numbers, put them into your Saab NZB and it should be ready to go. So in the settings over here is all of this information. You've got your servers. You can see how much you've downloaded. It's, it's a lot easier than it seems. Don't get too tripped out on this. This is just the software that you're going to use to download everything. Think of this as QTorrent. Now you'll need a site to download your NZB files. Now the one that I recommend the most, nzbgeek.info. This is where you're able to find all of the NZB files for the movies, music, games, and more, 
etc. that you want to download. So I actually do have a lifetime account here and you can see that I signed up February 6th of 2017. So I've been using this for a while. The best part about Geek MZB is the price. They'll give you a three day trial and for once you want to pay, you can either pay for six months for $6, a year for $12, five years for $40, or a lifetime membership for $80. That is not bad at all. If you think about the actual cost of this, go ahead and grab the lifetime membership, 80 bucks to get access to download all the movies, games, music, etc. that you want. So you'd pay your 80 bucks one time here and you would most likely be paying $7 a month for the unlimited Usenet on fastusenet.org. So now you should have everything set up. You have your Saab NZB downloaded, you've paid for your Usenet membership, and you've put all of your connection port numbers and everything into Saab NZB. You've also paid your 80 bucks for your NZB, for your NZB Geek, and so now you're ready to download movies. So all you have to do and you'll be shocked at how easy this is. As you go to NZB Geek, you can see you've got some options over here, you know, whatever you may want to download. Go to movies. Let's go to trending movies. These are popular movies. All right, what's, uh, what's a new trending movie? I haven't really kept up a lot. Here we go, Night Swim. That looks like a good movie, right? You click on Night Swim, that then opens up. You've got a few filters here where you can do 480p, 720p, 1080p, etc. You've got info on the movie. And then down here are your files. So you see, this is a 2024 1080p Blu-ray 5.1 surround sound version of Night Swim. It was uploaded 17 hours ago and it is two gigs in size with 1300 downloads. That seems like a good option. So all I have to do is click this button. It downloads the file and instantly starts downloading the movie. Now you will need to set your NZB files to open defaultly in Saab NZB. That's pretty easy to do. I can even show you that right here. You'd literally just right click this file, select open with on a Windows and uh, just tell it to use that app and then say, always use this app to open NZB files and click okay. That's all you gotta do. Once that's done one time, once that's changed, it'll always open the files in Saab NZB. So your file downloads, I kind of did this again just to show you. I mean, it's it's really quick. I do have a fast internet connection though. Now, you're able to tell this exactly where you want to save the files at. So, once mine saves, as you see it says completed, I can just go to my completed folder, and there it is, Night Swim. There's my file. You see it will have a crazy name. You can, of course, rename it to Night Swim, but if I double click this, it'll open my video player, and it's ready to play the movie. There we go. Night Swim is playing. So for me, all I would do now is copy this file over to my Plex server, and then I can watch it anywhere I want. And so there we go. Hopefully that all made sense. I didn't want to geek out on exactly a newsreader and a Usenet and an NZB file and all that. I wanted to try to show you just straightforward what you have to do. Download Saab NZB, sign up for Fast Usenet, $7 a month, can't beat it. Sign up for the lifetime membership or even the five year if you only have 40 bucks or if you got six bucks for six months to try it out, sign up for the $6 one for six months, set up your fast news net to your Saab NZB, and then just go to NZB Geek, pick whichever file you want, click the download button, and within a few moments, you will have this file. As I mentioned before, the reason this is legal is it's like sharing a newspaper. That's at least how it's described. It also uses an SSL. So essentially my internet provider, your internet provider, only sees that I downloaded a two gig file. They don't know that I downloaded a two gig file that was Night Swim 2024 in 1080p. So that's how it works, pretty easy. I do have a link down below to Fast Usenet if you would like to sign up. No, they did not pay me to make this video. I just wanted to show people how to download NZBs over torrents and uh, this was the easiest way to do that. So I hope you've liked this. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down below and I will answer those. I think that'll do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.